So every puppy needs to learn how to be in a crate or be in a pen. Go in your box and go ahead and reward it for getting in there. Get in your box. Get in the box. Come on. It's got to go in first. Get in. Okay, now take it right off the top of the box. Take it off the top of the box and reward her. No, put, put it back on top of the box. Get her, tell her to get in. Now tell her good girl. Good girl. And take it off the top of the box. Get in. Get in. Get in. Good girl. Throw it. And what I sometimes do is I throw it right on the ground. And then they don't notice you closing it. And then you use the crate as a way of keeping your house safe, keeping your dog safe. They don't chew cords. They don't chew up your shoes. And you can leave for the day. And a puppy this age could be in there for four hours. You, I often give them an interactive toy in there. They can chew on a bone. I also feed dogs in crates a lot. And this puppy is used to being in a crate. And that's a very important part. And yes, sometimes puppies, see this puppy has settled down already. Colleen's done a nice job of teaching this puppy at the crate time. So the puppy's quiet. It can come out of the crate. And then she's very focused on Colleen. And you can walk it right out and go outside to do your potty training. So what we want to do now is to play some games with puppies that, to me, are the basics, the foundation for a puppy learning. I'm turn the back so you can see her. So the first thing we do is to teach it eyes. And go ahead and put your food behind your back so it's actually not looking. And look at this puppy orienting back to eyes. And go ahead and mark that. Yes. Now put your arms out to the side. Tell it, go ahead and tell her your cue word, eyes, or look, whatever yes. your work is. What's your cue word on this dog? For that. I don't know. Well, we okay. just kind of play the game. Do eyes. Yeah. Tell her eyes. Okay. Okay. Eyes. Yeah. Oh, there's a food on the ground. She's got food on the ground, which is hard for a puppy. There it is. Yes. yes. Okay. So you don't correct the dog any more than just not rewarding it. If you don't reward it, you end up telling it something's wrong. Yes. Good. All right. What we're going to do here is to work around the food dish. So instead of just doing the eyes, we're going to teach him to pay attention to me around the food dish. This is his meal. Yes, very good. So he looked at me even though his food dish was over on the right hand side. He was able to attend to me even though he was distracted. And then he gets his reward of his dish. The other game we can play is to teach him to sit and stay starting with his meal. Stay. Oh my goodness, you're good. Nope. My goal for this puppy, because he's had some training, is that I can stand up. Stay. Eyes. Nope. And all you have to do to correct it is just take his food away, and I added a marker saying no. Stay. Yes. <laughs> all right. So I got eyes. He's looked. He's learned to look at me for permission to do things. So if a puppy tries to jump on you, it's best to just ignore them. And by ignoring them, they learn that, that seeking attention by standing on a person doesn't get rewarded. What gets rewarded is this really nice behavior here, is sitting and concentrating. All right, now we'll do the name game. Go ahead and say her name. And when she looks back, good. She gets, as soon as she looks back, she gets the yes marker, which tells her, oh, you stepped on it. As soon as she turns to you, she gets the yes marker. Okay. Okay. Yes. Good. All right. Good girl. All right, we'll do it another time. Good. She turns Good immediately. Girl. This is the beginning of come when called. If you're a dog, yes. comes, now I'd randomly give her a few more than one piece. So she actually stays with you. Good. Nice. Notice how well this puppy orients to the owner. And yes, she's got food. Everybody says, I don't want my dog to respond to food. But in the beginning, we all get rewarded by food from babies on up. So let's add come to the word, and you're going to toss a piece of food across the floor. As soon as the puppy eats the food, you're going to call her name and come. And when she gets back to you, she gets the yes mark. A puppy not so well trained actually needs to hear that piece of food drop. And when she turns to come back to you, 
You did a really good job of saying, Keegan, come, add some prompts. Okay. Pat your leg, make a squeaky voice, because when we go outside, she's going to need more help to get to you from a longer distance. There you go. See the difference? This puppy zoomed in, and that's what you're looking for is a really nice zoom. It's called a rocket recall. And when you throw the piece of food out, you can actually say, get it. You can actually teach another word that says, get it, because one day you may end up making that a ball. Get it. Come on, Keegan. Yay, and there's the rocket recall. Good. Now, let's make this a little bit harder. This time, don't put your hand down there with food. Okay. No food? So she's just going to come back. Um, put the food somewhere differently or put the hand behind your back with the food. I want you to be able to pet her. So actually, if you have a pocket, just stick a little piece of food in your pocket. Okay. Take the food out of your hands. Okay. And you're, she's going to come to your hands, okay. not to the food. This is how you start to fade the food. Okay, so lots of praise, lots of physical attention. Yay, good. Very nice. This puppy doesn't love being petted like that, but she's um, learning to accept it, which leads us, that was very nice. Let's lead us into desensitizing her a little bit about that hand reaching out. Let's go ahead and show her the food. Let her nibble on the food and take a hold of the collar. Okay, take hold of the collar. Show her the food. Make sure she's nibbling on the food. Touch the collar. Touch the collar. Pet her ears. And let her have the food. So if dogs don't like being grabbed by the collar, or if you have children around, this is a really good way of desensitizing, making your dog less sensitive to being grabbed by the collar. So let's do that again. So you notice the first lesson is that you let your dog nibble on the food, and then you touch them. Okay, let it nibble on the food. Now you touch with your other hand. Good. All right. Now, let's do that again. And this time, you're going to reach out and see if we can go to the next lesson. Is you touch your dog, then you yes mark that and reward her for allowing you to touch her. Okay. So first, no food. Oh, you're just no going to touch her first with your left hand. Touch her. Now yes mark it. Yes. OK, good. And this time, you can hide your hand behind your back a little bit. Hide your hand, hide your oh, right hand behind your back. Hide your hand right hand behind your back. This is really normal. Your brain and your hands don't always work. Good. Now yes, mark that. Perfect. Good. All right. Now this time I want you to actually put your finger in the collar and see if you can lead her towards you. But you may have to bring your food back out and lure her backwards, lure her forward. Okay. Put your finger in the collar and pull her towards you just a little bit, tug her towards you, so she's acts perfect, perfect. So we're teaching this puppy to be pulled by the collar, which is the beginning of walking on a leash. It's also a safety mechanism if you ever have to grab your puppy because it's about to get run over or squashed by another dog. It makes the dog really comfortable with being grabbed by collars. Some dogs don't like this, and this puppy is a little sensitive to it. All right, the next thing we want to do, and these are all games to play with your puppy, is to teach it to wait for something. We've taught the dog to do a rocket recall. We've taught it to go into its crate and hang out. We've taught it to pay attention. And now what we want to do is to teach it to hold itself on one place. So we're going to have this puppy go to the bed. She already knows that game. <laughs> no. Get on the bed. All right, and she's going to get rewarded for being on the bed. Now, this puppy is very good. The next puppy we'll show will be more likely to get off the bed. Back up on the bed. Get on the bed. Okay, and we'll wait a few seconds. Once she gets on the bed, you wait a few seconds before rewarding her. Yes. And the reason you wait a few seconds is you're not trying to reward get off, get on. You're trying to reward hold yourself. Excellent. Yes. Good. And this is where you sit down at the dinner table, and your bed is right next to you. You sit down watching TV. The bed is right at your feet. And you can randomly drop pieces of food on there until you really start to get a good stay going. So let's wait. Let's see if we can do a 10 second. Nope. Get on the bed. Say we're going to do 10 seconds. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good. And then if you go ahead and um, call her off the bed, and we'll do it again. Yep, she got off. And it's okay if they jump off and get a piece of food. This puppy is just at the beginning stage of training. Wait. And it's okay if they move around. It's okay if they sit. It's okay if they lie down. It's not okay if they get off. And this is the beginning of a stay for a puppy. And this is typical puppy training because 10 seconds is a long one for her. So what we'll do is we're gonna end up going back a step. Let's do eight yes. seconds. She's test, don't feed her because you don't wanna feed that off on situation. Right. You're gonna feed her holding herself on the bed. There, that was eight seconds, I'd mark that. Yeah. Very nice, okay, she can jump off. Good. So that's the beginning of a puppy stay. And most puppies orient to a really comfy bed. You can do this when your dog is tired. This puppy is zoomy right now, so staying is not in the repertoire. But you can see how quickly this is going to become, this is my spot. Being on a bed is her spot. And you can use any kind of beds. These are the beds that we have in our facility for the dogs. They usually are, find them very comfortable. They can't chew them up. And for those of you who have dogs that are a little less rowdy, you can use just a regu their regular bed or a rug remnant or even a towel. Wait. Very nice. No, I didn't say get off. On your bed. Wait. Very good boy. And I can talk to him, and he can't get up until he hears the word Y-E-S. Yes. Yay! Good job, Muffin. On your bed. This puppy can actually go to his bed. So he's a little bit more advanced than the other one, than Keegan. Wait. Nope. Okay, and I just pull the food away. On your bed. Wait. Yes! And then he can get off and get the food. So one of the things that's really important to do with puppies, they're finding more and more that the best bonding happens when you play with your puppy. So all of these training games are actually games and they're also the foundation for learning. One of the other games I teach my dogs to do is to put their front feet on top of something. And we're gonna try this metal bowl. I also have a plastic one which I use. If this doesn't work, we'll get the plastic one. So we're gonna hold your hand slightly above her head and when she puts her feet on, you're going to guide her with your hand a little bit above her head till her feet go on the dish. Yes. And then she gets the yes mark. As soon as those feet hit the dish, and we're luring her, yes, perfect. And then you can invite her off. Good. Okay. Yes, very nice. So this puppy has a pretty good idea of what she's supposed to do. Good. Nice. And again, like with being on the bed, you can start to teach them. Yeah, and then she's gonna, there, she's now she's volunteering. Wait, wait till both feet are touching. Good. Good girl. Nice. And in the beginning, you can actually reward, you can reward one foot, and then you can reward two feet and increase it from. Raise your criteria, push the envelope a little bit. Let's see if she plays that game. Good. Yes. Good girl. All right. Touch. Touch. Other foot. Come on. Get that other foot up there. Come on. Get that other foot. Yes. Very good. All right. Good boy. Okay. One foot for right now. Okay. Touch. Yes. Good. We'll reward him for one foot. Then I'm going to make it harder. Come on. This guy's going to play with this. Okay. Touch. Here. Both feet. Now, yes. Nope. Come on. You had it. Put your feet up there. So this is more normal. This dog doesn't have as much training as Keegan does. Yes. Very good. Good job. That time I rewarded him on the object saying yes because this is the first time we've done this. And he's not really focused on the food, which makes it harder. If you don't have your puppy hungry enough, then they're not going to work. Okay. 
touch. Here. Nope. Here. Touch. Both hands. Yes. Very good. All right. Good boy. Very nice. So we're going to sit her on the button, sit her on a towel there because it's a little easier for them not to slide. And I'm just going to put my left hand in her collar and push her slightly and feed her. Okay, now she got used to that. I'm going to put my food in my left hand and put this in the collar. Push her slightly to the, my right. And she's, yes. As soon as she allows me to pick up her foot, I'm going to mark that with yes. Here, sit. Yes. Good. But she will start to anticipate me putting her, my left hand in her collar with lifting up her right foot. Here, Keegan. Come here, girl. Come here. Come here. Over here. That's my girl. Okay, left hand in her collar, which is hard because you've got the food in it. Okay, I want you to sit. Good. Yes, very good. She started to lift that for me voluntarily. Dogs. The other thing you can do is just, you don't even have to put your hand in the collars. Hold your left hand slightly above her head. Yes, very good, okay? And if you hold it and put it slightly over there to my right, her left, she will lift up that right foot. Yes. Good. Very nice. So I mark it, and then I'll use verbal praise. Okay? Yes. Very good. This dog is probably a little better to do it that way. Yes. Very good. Because she's not quite as comfortable having our hand in her collar. And this is not only one of those great stupid pet tricks, but it really works on bonding with you and your dog. Do it with, try to do it without the collar. Do it with just your left hand with the food above her head, above her nose. Put it over slightly on her left ear. Oh, perfect. Oh, my gosh, she's got it. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, yes, all right. This puppy has had a couple of weeks of work here, two, three, four weeks of work with Colleen. And you can see how quickly using food as a reward and teaching it using a marker so that she clearly understands what it is you want. And working with your puppy creates smart dogs. The AKC has begun a puppy star program. And some of the testing will include handling your dog besides obedience exercises. So what we want to make sure is this puppy is comfortable with being handled. We did a little bit of collar desensitizing. I'm sure Colleen can pick her up and just cuddle her. And what the part of the testing will be is that you can hug your dog. And if they're a little uncomfortable about being picked up, feed them some food. And you can feed them while they're in your arms if they're fussy. And this one's a bit fussy. Very nice. And you can see her opening her mouth and going, yeah, I'm not sure I want to really do this. So she gets fed. And when she's comfortable and calm and quiet, she can be put down. Okay, that would be a passing score on the AKC Puppy Star program. All right, the next thing we're going to do, yeah, again, she's got the, I don't want to, I don't want to be grabbed. She needs to know that's going to be a pleasant experience. And if any of you have ever grabbed your dog, you'll see that this is what starts to happen is that don't touch me. And that's not a good place for a puppy to be. They need to understand that they can be grabbed and nothing bad will happen. So what I'd like to have you do is, um, again, get your puppy to come to you, and we'll put it on the table and work on being able to touch its mouth and its hand. So if you don't have a grooming table, I've just put a, an old towel on top of a picnic table here. Any table will do. The important part is getting them up on a table. It's easier on your back, and it also gets the puppy up into your element, and it makes working with them much easier. When you go take your puppy to a groomer, your puppy will be tied appropriately so that there's no chance of it jumping off the table. Now it's your responsibility not to let it jump off the table. So what I'm going to do is help hold this puppy because she's a bit wiggly. And Colleen, as the owner, will open its mouth, look at its teeth. And I will hold the puppy so she doesn't jump off the table. Okay. So if you need somebody... No more food. So what you're going to do is open the teeth. You want to look at those teeth, and then you reward her for letting you look at her teeth. Good girl. They Very nice. Super. Good. Excellent. A little bit. You got to hold her a minute. Yep. I'm not a dude. And then I want to be able to hold her feet. 
look at her toenails, click her toenails, so at some point we can start to trim her toenails. Yeah, so you're going to look at her feet, run your hand down her legs, pick up her feet, and if you need to feed her while you're doing this, so they build up a good association, go ahead and do that. It's in my pocket. There we go. And I want to be able to handle her, and they're comfortable being on the table with the veterinarian, getting shots. When you go to the veterinarian, if you feed your dog at the front end while the veterinarian's doing its things at the back end, you'll have a dog that's always comfortable going to the veterinarian's office or going to a groomer. Good girl. The important yes. part is being able to handle teeth and mouth, and they don't mind it, so that you can give pills. And look, you can see those little daggers in there. Pretty soon she's going to start losing daggers. Mm. All right. So the other things we start to do, this puppy's had some training, so I don't know that I need to lure, and luring is one way of getting the behavior. Come here. Come on. Yeah. Sit. I'll be luring with my hand. Yes. I think he's beyond that stage, so I'm not going to use my hand to lure. Come here, Jack. Good. Sit. Yes. Good job. Very nice. He sat without me using my hands. Get that. Come here, Jet. Sit. Yes. Very nice. Good boy. Very good. Come here. Yeah, this puppy understands lying down on a towel. I bet you you can take this towel, which he understands, down. Nope. Down. Nope. Let's see, can you do that? He can't. So let's go back and do a little bit of help. Come here. That wasn't very good. Sit. Down. I'm going to lure him on the towel. OK, come on. Come on. OK, let's do it again. Down. No, not between my legs. Down. Yes. Good boy. Very good. OK, come on. Back here. Okay, turn. Good. Down. Yes. Okay. So I actually started to get to use the towel as a cue to lie down. Let's try it again. Come on. Turn. Down. Come on. Hey, forget that. Come on. Down. Yeah, you lost it. You lost it. He's doing this the other day outside. Yeah, all right, very good. Come on. You didn't do it when I told you to, though. Here, down. Yes, very good. All right, good job, buddy. Good job, buddy. All right. Ready? You ready? And play is a really important part of your relationship with your dogs. Get it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yay. And right back to me and we play again. Play again. There you go. Get that. And he's learning to be very careful about not putting his teeth on my hands. Oh, good. Very nice. Good. Out. Yes. Get it. He's learned to out just on the command. Come on, buddy. Yay. And back to me. Oh, you missed. There you go. Good job. And we're good. We just taught him a trick yesterday. Out, legs, yes, yay, good job, and these are just stupid pet tricks, out, get it, come on, come on, legs, legs, yes, very good, all right, all right, get that on, very good, whoop, I got it, I got it, assy, assy, yes, good, and they can, Careful, those are my fingers. They can learn to do their obedience exercises for toys. I see. No, not my legs. Here. I see. Cushy. Cushy. Ready? Cushy. Yes. I gave him a little help with my body. Yeah, get that. Oh, very good. Oh, very good. Very good. We'll do that again. Good. Out. Cushy. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Nice little guy. Out. Good job. Very good. Come on. I see. Rest. 
Así. Rest. No. Así. Rest. No. Así. Rest. Rest. No. Así. Rest. No. Así. Rest. No. Rest. No. Okay, so I thought he could do something. Come here. I'm going to back up. No, no, not between my legs. I'm trying to get him so that you can see. I see. Rest. I'm just going to back up, and as soon as I put it on the ground, yes, he can have some. Good job. All right. Okay, now I'm going to evolve. See if I can put it on the ground and stand up. Come on. Ready? Here. I see. Rest. Rest. I see. Come here. Come on. I see. Here. I see. Rest. No. Rest. No. It's the beginning of leave it. Rest. As well as stay. Rest. No. I'm going to see if I can stand up. No. Come here. And it doesn't matter if they lie down. Come here. Come here. I see. Rest. All right, good job. Very nice. There you go. All right, now let's see if we can evolve into sit, stay, and eye contact. Okay, ready? Come here. I see, rest. Yes, all right. He gave me his eyes. Good job. And then one of the things to do while we're on this is to really work on getting your puppy to be comfortable around you and food is make sure you do a lot of feeding while they're eating. So he's got his face in the dish and you put your hand down there and feed. You don't have to take the dish away or you can take it away and when they're done add something delicious and put it back down again. Okay so we're evolving from last session's touch. Set. Touch. Yes. Very nice. And these are all games of control. Dog's paying attention to me. He's learned to stay, wait for the next cue. Set, touch. Yes, very nice. So we take what Colleen did with Keegan and evolve it into a practical exercise that actually is a competition exercise. Nope, I didn't tell him to go. So we put it back, rest. Set, touch, yay, very nice. Rito. Yay, out of boy! Good job. Good boy. And you can feed him or not, or you can just pet him like I did. Yay, you missed! <laughs> Yay! All right! Good job. Very good. Oh, yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Yay, excellent. Good boy. Hey. Hey, all right, mister. So Keegan's been on this, obviously. Uh, a normal puppy, you'd want to keep your hand in the collar so there's no chance of them jumping off Keegan. or falling off. She doesn't even need that. You can just walk her right up, walk her right up. The key is that they never jump off of something this height. She did a little while ago. She shouldn't have done that. For a puppy this age, they need to stay low. She may need a little bit more help. She doesn't. She can walk right over it. Good. Now, she needs less luring to make her turn around. Ask her to turn around and go right back up. Okay, start again. Good. Help her up. There you go. Help, help, help. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, go back and give her a little more of a running start. Don't try to pull. You oh, can't pull. Head, huh? Nope, because they will pull back. Nice job. Very good. You gave her a little more motivation. That's all she needed to get going. Okay, let's try this one over here. We'll be, feed her a little bit. Put your slip your finger in the collar or under her belly so she doesn't fall. All right. Food will overcome any fear here. No fear. Very nice. Good. Okay, do the same thing again. So what we did is we upped 
the value of the reward. We are using a sausage type treat here. And we have now no problem getting her attention. Okay, now whip her around. Put your finger in the collar so she doesn't fall off or under her belly. Use the food to lure her up there. Perfect. Keep going, keep going, don't worry about it, keep going. And all the way down. Or put a little piece of food on the plank there. So she has to walk forward to get it. There you go. Perfect. But well, careful. Oh, it's your job not to let her fall off. This you. trust building. You're okay. So let's keep that one back up there. Okay, you ready? We're gonna go. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Let's go. Come on. And some of these obstacles are available at the yeah. Patterson Dog Park. Yeah. And fairly yeah. soon we hope that Newman will have a dog park and will also have these obstacles. You can go take Very your dog good. and teach them to walk Very on top, good. over, through, and yeah. under. Hey, so you're going to call her through. Keegan, come here, girly. Come with me. Come here, girly. So one of the reasons she's having a little trouble here being motivated by her regular food is that I look at her belly hanging down. She's a chubby puppy. Call her through. Come here, Keegan. Come here, There you go. Perfect. Hey. All right. Look at it right there. Yeah. Come on out here. Come here, Keegan. So what you're looking for a puppy that's the right weight is that the bellies don't bulge out. And we're assuming since she's been wormed, it's not for worms. This is for, yeah. You can see her belly is, is farther out than her ribs. It's hard to tell on a puppy, but feeling her, she feels a lot of belly instead of a nice little tube, a nice little tight tube. If they start out, so try the easy one first, which is the wood platform. Do exactly what she just did. And then you're going to encourage her to walk across this strange tarp. And Keegan has no trouble with it, so that's not a, that's very easy. If your puppy had had some problems with it, you might have thrown some food next to it or had them walk across it the short way first. Okay, this puppy has no fear. Now try to do it without luring. See if she'll just follow you across it. Let's go, Keegan. Come on, girl. No problems. All right. So you'll notice that there's a lot of what looks like junk on this field. There's a lot of it is to test the dogs environmentally. They have umbrellas, things they can walk over, things they walk through. And mom ignored her. Mom number two ignored. Okay, call her and then disappear. Call her. All right. This time you're going to call her, and then when you disappear, make sure she says come, because you say come, because I'm waiting for that word, that really important word, come, uh, okay. or here, or whatever you want to use. All right. All right. Just call her disappear. Come on, Yay. Yay. Ooh, snakes. Ooh, snakes. Yay. Yay, Atta girl. This is the beginning of playing tug of war. Yay. Tug of War is a great game. Your dog learns all sorts of rules like share your toy. I want my hands down near you. I want to be able to pet you while you have it. <laughs> you got to let go when I ask you to. Here. And especially for this puppy that doesn't really love being petted, it's a good place to be able to pet her. Yay. Yay. You notice every time I touch her, she comes off. And you want to keep her very focused on it. Good job. Good job. Good job. Very nice. And then we'll trade. I heard idea of fun. Here. Yay. Good puppies. Oh, there's food on the ground. Yep, you will find this puppy because it's going to be way more exciting the next time she comes out if she doesn't have so much food in her stomach. And it never means that you feed them less than they should have. It still means that you feed them what they should have, but you don't overfeed. Then, then they can sustain the attention a little bit better.